On November 13, 1990, at around 5 p.m., nine-year-old Fusako Sana was walking home after watching a baseball game at her school, but the young girl was unaware that she was being followed. Suddenly, she noticed a car screech to a stop behind her. A man got out of the car, brandishing a knife, and charged at her. He told her not to scream or move, and out of fear, she did exactly what she was told, as a stranger grabbed her and threw her into the trunk of his car. And with that, she wouldn't be seen again for another nine years. Her captor was 28-year-old Nobuyoki Sato. Sato was unemployed, lived with his mother, and had been displaying signs of mental illness for a long time. After the girl was thrown into the trunk, he drove for several miles, eventually stopping on the side of the road. He jumped out, opened the trunk, and bound the girl's hands together as well as blindfolded her. From there, he drove to his house, back upstairs with Fusako. He took off her blindfold and told her she would never leave that room. 